Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quick Card, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V. Last time, we learned that we must cross the desert. And in order to cross the desert, we will need the help of Sid and Mid. And our objective is to reach the ruins beyond, where apparently the King of Tycoon has been spotted, exhibiting strange behavior. And that means that today we get the special treat of starting out with a boss fight. Assuming that this giant bird will stop attacking me at some point in the near future. Think I've got a pretty decent party for this. Hello. I expected it. Uh, helpless. Wait. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, and the orchestra hasn't even started tuning up yet. We'll build a bridge. It's a little risky. But you guys are all about danger, right? Now it works! We use this bell to call the sandworm! And then you guys trash it! And there's your bridge! Uh, not the most sophisticated of methods! You aren't that sophisticated of a guy! I think it suits you! Alright! We're going to call the sandworm! You guys ready? Heck yeah! Oh, uh, yeah. If you use any magic on the sandworm, <laughs> you'll be sorry. Good luck. Thought I'd mention that just before I start the boss fight. You know, not big deal or anything. Yep. Plan. Kill an animal. Use its corpse as a bridge. Alright. So, the way this works is this guy pops around a lot to different locations. So what I need to do is wait for him to move to a favorable location and then just hit him. We're going to drop a mighty march on everyone. Going to be mostly relying on my spellcasters for healing. And it shouldn't be too bad. I just want to make sure that I don't hit one of the holes or I get counterattacked pretty bad. Luckily, with an active weight or an active, uh. Whoop. Yeah, he likes to do that. Alright, I want to wait for a flip, change locations. There we go. Good job. I'm so proud of you for hitting him with a knife. He's an annoying boss, but not a particularly difficult one. Wait for it. There we go. If you're playing on the uh, weight controls, then it is decently common for you to give a command and then have him change location before you actually act. Luckily on the active battles, where he's able to move while you're in menus, it's uh, a lot easier to just wait for him to pop out and then issue your attack order. Do I have anything to throw? Yes, I do. Okay, shuriken time. Yep, that's 1,500 damage. There's more quicksand. Honestly, it seems like I can tone down my healing spells a little bit. I genuinely do not need the really high-end healing spells to keep up with this output. 
As long as you're not hitting him with magic or hitting the holes, this is not too bad of a fight. I do have a spare Mithril Sword. There we go. And that is one dead sandworm. <laughs> Game, set, and match! Now you can get into the desert! Thanks, guys. Sid, Mid, take care of the black chocobo while we're gone, okay? Good luck! Yeah, I... I might need it. <laughs> take care! So, the rest of this is really just, well, exactly what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like... Well, it did look like a good time to use a water scroll. Those ninja scrolls are surprisingly powerful. Alright, time for another scroll. I'm glad I stocked up on these. Job level for Lena. Let's see. I'm gonna guess here. Oh no! We're fighting against the Sand Boys! Oh no, the Sand Boys mysteriously died. I wonder what could have happened to them. Alright, that's enough scrolls for now. Let's just. Let's just kill them the good old fashioned way. I'm coming now to a point in the game where there's a fair amount of blue magic that I can pick up. I don't know for certain how much of it I'm going to be able to grab as soon as possible, but I will be making the effort. Alright, Ferris learned first strike. There's really not, really not anything better I got for Bart's, is there? Um, Mighty March is probably the best thing I have right now. Whoops. Okay, a sand bear. That's a, uh, kind of looks a little melty in the face, doesn't it? <sighs> Sorry if you're hearing me yawn, it's uh, it's very early in the morning. Not bad, not bad at all. The desert has been bested. I don't want to step on the desert tiles because they can have chimeras. And even though I know I can beat a chimera now, I don't want to have to. And this... Good job, Ferris. You know what? Just one. I don't have time for that. Um... Yeah, I think we can afford to top off real quick. Gone. The Town of Ruin. Guess this is that Town of Ruin Sid was talking about. So, the current plan is that I wander randomly around the town and I will catch a glimpse of a shadowy figure. That ah, there he is. That was the King Tycoon! Yep. Father! Pa Papa! 
Well, that went well. I'm sorry I wasn't certain at first, and then I didn't think I should tell you. Ferris is just consistently has the worst possible voice I could give to someone. Sister! Lena! How you doing there, Gallif? I'm locked in here! Uh, where are we? This place is strange! Say, what happened to the old man? Huh? He's not here. He must have gotten separated when we fell! He'll be okay. He's a tough old cuss. I'm sure we'll run into him later. Come on, let's get going. Pick a minute! That was an awfully quick decision to ditch me! Yikes! Uh, sorry. Alright. We have reached our location. Go. I think... There's some enemy encounters here. What is this? Or maybe I'm just confusing this with the uh, area that comes after. Well, this is a heck of a teleportation. Look out! Run, you crazy fool! That is not running, you crazy fool! Meanwhile... East, west, home is best. Even if you're a chocobo, huh? Pike should be thrilled. We went above and beyond the call of duty. Phew, that was close. Well, I suppose this was a warp device. After not being used for so long, activating it must have caused an overload. It's a little too dangerous to go back in there. All right. So, there's a switch here. Push the switch. Ugh! Uh, it won't budge. Something is carved into the wall. Check the planters in the center room. Okay. I will check the planters in the center room. There's a note here. The notepad in the room on the right. Okay, we'll check the notepad in the room on the right. Made you look neener, neener, neener. Ah, that little... Calm down, Darts! Hey, before you get your pantaloons in a twist, take a look. Tease another note. Check the urn. Okay. And there goes a frog, and he drops a book, because I don't know. Go down six right, four, then pull what's there. 
So the trick all along was that this switch was a pull, not a push. And that gives us the mini spell, a shuriken, and another shuriken. So I believe that was, yes, the last missing piece of white magic uh, below level three. So there are still two pieces of time magic I don't have yet in the level one and two slots, or maybe it was two and three, I forget. Uh, those I will get further ahead. The important thing is that I am making progress. Well, there goes Sid and Mid. We got a save point. Guess there just really aren't any enemies in here. This is... Hey, it's the fire-powered ship! I thought it had sunk! But what's that ship over there? That's right, conveniently, the fire ship sunk and landed directly in front of a different ship. But I think the first thing I will do is go find a specific enemy. Because this is the fire-powered ship, and the dungeon was inside the fire-powered ship, the dungeon is actually still here. Uh, that's not the one. I'm looking for an enemy encounter that will let me spawn a motor trap. Uh, I believe that's the one that drops after you, uh... Ugh. J just, just drop a fire scroll and be done with it. See? They're immune to fire. Just as I obviously suspected before wasting that scroll. No, come on, get moving. There's not really any particular need to get the blue piece of the piece of blue magic I'm here in this location. Uh, it does drop elsewhere, but, you know, why not? Alright, we've got a motor trap under our control. He tried to turn us into the Hulk with some gamma rays. Okay, now missile to hit Lena. There we go. Alright, let's kill him. It's honestly just that simple sometimes. And now Lena has learned Missile. Uh, missile is actually quite surprisingly powerful. D although, despite that, I will almost probably never use it. Okay, please stop hitting me, Crew Dust. Thank you. Uh, specifically, what Missile does is it takes the target's HP down to a quarter of whatever it was. So, yeah, it's gravity magic. Very effective gravity magic. And this other mysterious ship, propellers on a boat. What's up with that? Sid! Mid! Ow! What the- Parts! Eh, Ferris Caliph, what are you guys doing here? I think that's our line! Where'd you guys come from? We rode the Black Tokubo back to Crescent Island. And all of a sudden a hole opened up beneath us and we fell. Wait, so we're underneath Crescent Island? That explains the fire-powered ship being here. This place must have been built by the ancients. Huh. 
Uh, this propeller ship? Uh, maybe we should ask Grandpa about that. Huh, wait, where'd he go? Hmm, I wonder if he got excited about something. Dang! This is mind blowing! Hey, Sid? Don't bother me, Boyo! Tighten this, adjust this, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Voila! That should do it! That should do what? That should get this ship moving! Hell yeah, we got an airship! Wow! Amazing! What's... Sid, what is this thing? Isn't it obvious? It's an airship! Amazing! I've only ever seen these in old texts! I can't believe I'm getting to use one in the flesh! Well, you know what I mean. Oof! What was that? Something's dragging us down! Creeping crawdads! Some monster's got a death grip on the ship's hull! Oh, crap. Uh, that is... very unfortunate. I am kind of hurt right now. Heal us up, you guys! Heal us up! Alright, I'm, I'm alright. Ferris got gooed. Go on, another shuriken. Simple enough. And we got Frostbow for that. Ah! Looks like that overgrown lobster just got served! With cheese biscuits and mashed potatoes. The localization for this game is... Not especially great sometimes. Looks like the damage to the ship was minimal. We can use parts from the fire-powered ship to make the airship good as new. Sid, if you're just going to thank me, I don't need to hear it. We'll stay here and search for some clues about the Earth Crystal. The skies are yours, kid. Now get out there. Ah, the evil warlock, Ixteth. Ferris, what is wrong with your accent? We must prevent him from returning! All that's left is the Earth Crystal! Now we just have to find it. No point in dawdling. Let's go! The airship in this game moves very, very fast. It's actually quite convenient. Well, but if you go back to the ruins in order to land, what's going on? Look, it's a town! Something unexpected happens. That is some good tea this morning. Yep! The town gets destroyed and a big flying ship launches into the air. So it's back to Sid and Mid yet again. But first... Could have sworn there's a... Uh... There's a, um, a little town somewhere that can only be reached with the airship. 
Or I might be confusing that with a different world map somewhere. Uh, no, I might have been thinking about that town there. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, because everything else is pretty much accounted for. Okay, so we just got to go back to Sid and Mid. Again. Uh, Sid and Mid, where are you? Okay. The, the problem is that this airship moves so fast that sometimes it's actually tough to line it up in order to land properly. Sid, Mid, we've got an issue here. Uh, save your breath! Because we saw the ruins through the telescope! This is bad! The Earth Crystal's way up there! The ancient Ronkins amplified the Earth Crystal to make the town float. But once they realized amplifying the crystal could make it shatter, they stopped the machine. Shake a leg, miscreants! Somebody's turned the machine back on! It couldn't... You don't think that Father... Never! He would never do such a thing! How are we supposed to get that high? With this, adamantite! If we reinforce the ship with it, it'll fly higher. But we'll need to find some more. Ah, that's simple enough! That meteorite I came in in, I remember seeing some adamantite reserves inside. Are you sure? You're calling me a liar! Of course not. It's just that your memory's still kind of spotty, right? And pish posh! The adamantite pot's clear as day! It's as good a place as it need to start. Let's go check it out. We'll stay and get things prepared. You guys hurry and bring us some adamantite. All right, we have our mission. To the Tycoon Meteor. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm healthy enough for this, I think. Here it is. Dun 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 dun. dun. Ah, it's around here, I'm sure of it! There! Ah, inside there! All meteors have button-operated switches! Didn't you know that? There it is! How about that? Pretty sharp memory, huh? How would an amnesiac like you know? <laughs> Wait, are you mocking me? Sweet. All right, we got our adamantite. There's something in here with us. Watch out! Oh no, it's purple circles. More importantly, it's an adamantoidus. Holy hell. Okay. That hurt like hell. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, okay, new plan. Protect. Okay, new plan. Heal. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is this is going to be the secret to my survival. We need to get protect barriers up on ourselves. Oh my god. Or we are never going to survive this fight. Okay, I need Galifa 
And more importantly, I need Galif alive. Crap! The thing is really fast! Damn it! We're just gonna have to go really quick here. Okay. Just stay alive. There we go. All right, that should be enough to get a protect barrier up on Gallif. Yikes, I did not go into this particularly prepared, did I? Good God. I have literally not put a single point of damage on this thing. Okay, protect on Ferris. Alright, that is full protection. That is barely accomplished anything. Mighty Marches. That's a regeneration on everyone. That's a heal on everyone. That's a heal on everyone. Okay, everyone is alive and everyone is protected. Uh, now I have to figure out how the hell to hurt this thing. Okay. Whew. Can we get a Libra out on this thing? I need to know what I'm up against. Okay, 1,526 HP. Vulnerable to Frost. Okay, the, the thing I don't have. Uh, Gallif, it's going to be up to you, I think. Come on, Blizzara. That's a fair chunk of damage. Okay. There's the Kuras. I got nothing to throw. We'll just have to go with our regular attacks. God, I am not hitting this thing for much. It's okay. I, I am finally putting out damage. Actual, tangible damage on this thing. Thank God the buffs in this game just last a whole fight unless you go down. Or at least Protect apparently does. Holy hell. I seriously might need to do some grinding off screen. This is actually absurd. <sighs> Come on, keep it going. This thing's gonna drop soon. Good work, Ferris. Get that Blizzara. Oh. Bart scanned a job level, got equip parts. Holy hell. Okay, Bart. Look, I... I appreciate what you're doing, but... No, I need, like, actual tangible power here. Uh... You are a ranger now. With a frost bow and a green beret and a ninja suit and an elven mantle. Lena, as our primary healer, you're going to get an elven mantle as well. Oh, God, that was scary. That was really, really scary. Oh, I hated that. I hated that so much. 
Oh my god. I, I really think I do need to grind up a few levels. I mean... Yeah, I... I've got to do it. Oh... God. Ooh, boy. I'm so used to overgrinding to unlock, like, really high job abilities so early in the game. I am legitimately not used to playing this. Uh, and, uh actually having to fight these bosses at lower levels. Hey! You got the adamantite! <laughs> Quick, give it here so we can install it! Parts, you guys take a break! Okay. We'll go take a break. My God, they're using Shadow Clone. Were in they're using Shadow Clone Engineering Jutsu, one of the rarest and most powerful ninja techniques. Yawn. Weird. I dreamt that the airship was already finished. Rise and shine! It's done. Yikes! You work fast. After you lift off, press the A button to fly higher! So with this, we can go to the floating ruins? Uh, technically, yes, but we'll take a gander at this. The floating city is equipped with a heavy defense system. If you don't disable it, you won't be able to enter. According to this book, the cannons are really powerful. But we must go! No question about it. I don't even see the way. Well, it's a couple of overblown pop guns against the likes of us. Sid Min, thanks for all your help. Now let's get to the crystal before it's too late. Yo ho ho and stuff! Time to cast off! You wanna see what I'm up against? This is what I'm up against. These are flamethrowers. They really freaking hurt. Luckily, the Lightning Scrolls are actually just incredibly effective against them. Also, luckily, they were targeting Lena with those flamethrowers. And Lena has the learning ability. She can learn how to use those flamethrowers. More Lightning Scrolls! Just that simple. Still doesn't mean it's actually any easier. There's uh, a double flamethrower encounter on this side as well, as well as a double missile launcher. And then a double missile launcher over here, and then the center opens up and it's actually a really tough boss fight. So, that is what I'm up against right now. Uh, it's... It's going to be a tough one. And, uh... I genuinely do not think I'm ready for it right now. So I am going to go grind up a few levels. And I will see you all on the next one. Ah, I thought they sold the Ninja Scrolls here. I was wrong.